Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today is yet another warm mid-June day here in Southwest Florida. It is 90 degrees centigrade, which is 32 degrees Celsius. It is 104 degrees Fahrenheit with the heat index, including the uh, humidity, which is about 40 degrees Celsius. So it's, it's a warm day and my orchids are just loving it. Um, this orchid here is, is not loving it as much as it did yesterday. So this is William's drumbeat right here. Um, the, it's been doing pretty well. The, uh, it, it does need to be repotted. But um, this plant, it was just because of the, the bloom on the plant, um, I brought it onto my lanai, which is where I'm located right here. Um, I put it on this saucer to protect the, uh, the, the table when I water. And this morning I came out and was surprised to find that one of the unopened blooms um, had been eaten. So, yikes. So, um, you know, and it was inside and this was a fresh eating. So, um, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure something got it last night and ate one of the blooms. Not the big bloom that's open uh, and there are, there were I think an additional three or four blooms on this spike uh, and one of them now has the bottom eaten off. Uh, that, that's what it looks like and this looks like um, it's likely to be snail damage but I, I don't know. Now the interesting thing is this plant was on my, I brought it inside, I'm inside a pool cage, so, you know, there's no flying insects that could get in here, grab a snack, and take off. Um, it's, it's inside the pool cage. Uh, that doesn't happen. So what that suggests, and this does happen, is that something was hiding in the potting mix and came up had a midnight snack, and then went back in the potting mix. Um, this is a plant that needs to be repotted anyway. So it's because there's something in, I think there's something in there. Um, I, I, I think we need to repot it right now. It's something that you normally don't do because it's, it's just, you know, the blooms are just opening now. Um, so it, this is not recommended, but if I don't, um, repot and find out what's growing in here. I'm, uh, it's just, I think whatever's in there is going to get hungry again tonight and may come out for yet another snack. So what I'm going to do is, um, in front of you is just, um, spill out the contents of this pot and the orchid onto this newspaper and see what we can find. I've got my gloves here just in case I, I need them. Um, but let's see how this goes. So, uh, and, and typically I don't do this. So there are, in this area, there are snails that I have found hiding in my potting mix, but I, I looked and they usually, they're big enough so that you can see them. I don't see anything obvious here. And that's why we're going to go on a little <coughs> potting mix discovery. So I'm going to move this out of the way and um, we're going to spread out this newspaper and dump the contents of this um, potting, uh, of this container in the potting mix onto this paper. I'll, I'll reposition the camera and we'll, uh, we'll kind of see what's, oh my gosh, look at this. Look what page I opened to. So I don't know if you can see that, but I, we normally don't get hard copy newspapers at our house, but this article is about the plant propagator. There and there in a big two-page ad so this this is out this came out no I, I took it out here for this is this is Florida Weekly and um, I just I needed to put this out on a fresh piece of newspaper and this is the only one that I had around so this is what I'm going to use for today's video. So let's see how this goes. All right. And, and I don't know if I'm going to find anything. I don't know what's going to go on. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get anything fast moving that's going to scurry away. 
but um, I'm just going to pull this, pull the contents out, and see what's in here. And I, I may have to reposition the camera. Okay. So, and, and it was good that I repotted this, that I'm going to repot this because there is, because the plant doesn't look really good. Um, there's a lot of, um, it's, not, it's not bad, but there's a lot of big pieces of bark in here. The root system on this plant just doesn't look very good uh, at all, and maybe it used to be. So there's, I thought it was, it's funny, I thought that there was uh, LECA mostly in here, but there's a combination of LECA and bark, and it doesn't look, it doesn't look bad, but the root system is not vigorous. <laughs> there's no, there's no good green roots that I see in here, so it was, it was time. All right, I'm going to put this to, on the, to the side, and I, to be honest, I have to take a break because I'm going to get my, uh, I have to flame some, um, some clippers in order to clip off some of these roots before I repot. Okay, so let me, but let me put this over here. We'll put this on the side. Try not to damage anything. And <laughs> I'm going to put, I'm sorry, I'm a wimp. I'm going to put these gloves on and see if there's anything obvious in here and I don't I don't know what we're gonna find okay so all right there's an there's ants that's it's pretty common to have ants in the uh, in the potting mixes uh, they get in there, and it's a nice, uh, a nice dry place for them. They they can get their moisture. They're protected. There's lots of spaces in there, and they tend to do tend to do well. I don't, and there's not even a whole lot of ants. You know, I wasn't sure if I was going to find anything in here. And I'm... You know, something got in there and ate that leaf. There's just a few ants, but not much else. Huh. All right. I'm going to go through this one more time. And if I need to, I'll speed it up. It, it did need to be, I think, repotted just because the roots look pretty bad. This is a plant that I got from a guy about a year ago. And I don't know how long he had it in this potting mix. And there's not a whole lot of um, degradation of the components of the potting mix. It's small LECA and not much else. But I was, I was expecting to see a snail or a slug or something like that, or even a, even a worm, a cutworm or something like that. And I'm seeing nothing. Now the other thing is I could I'm going to take a little bit more of a look here. Usually if you find bugs in here, they're right at the top. Got me. Okay. Nothing. Okay. All right, we'll keep on looking. I'll let you know if I find anything. And we're back. <laughs> so, I went through everything. I was going through things. I was moving everything around, looking through things, and um, couldn't find... I mean, I was looking for, you know, big snails, 
big worms, big slugs. I was looking for big stuff. And then I went and I got my reading glasses. And then I started looking at things again uh, more carefully. You know, it's a type of thing that I, I would take a piece of bark and I would turn, look at it and turn it over, get another piece, turn it over. And I noticed on, when I turned over one of these pieces that something small fell off. And it's like, okay, and then there's so much debris in here that I'm looking at that I couldn't see anything. I, I mean, it was just I couldn't find a thing. And so then I just carefully picked each, and <laughs> this, is, this is bad. Oh, you know, look there, there. Um, I turned turn piece over, pieces over, and you, you're not going to be able to see anything there, right in the middle of the screen. But this is, there's just, and I found probably about five or ten snails in here. So I took, I took images, um, I took, I made some, some movies uh, with my phone that has a little better um, high resolution, high magnification lens in here. And there's just, there's a lot of these small snails in here. And they, uh, apparently at night they climb up the plant and chow down and then they go back. You know, the, the snails that I'm used to seeing here, they're, they're big. Um, you know, they're um, a few millimeters, you know, like a centimeter to, um, you know, about half an inch. These guys are about, um, you know, maybe maybe a quarter inch, um, about three three millimeters. So these guys are small. Uh, there are ones that are smaller than that that I'm finding in here too. But there's there's a lot of them, and you know the damage to my flowers wasn't much. So I don't know if I don't know if this was because of one snail that climbed up and did this damage. I mean, these are small flower buds, so it may have been that one got up, you know, right at the base of the flower bud, just just ate it up. And and there, I, I'm watching them. They move pretty quickly for snails, um, but they're here. So what I, yeah, there's another one. They're, they're just, they're tiny, but they're all over the place. And I think they get in there and they eat the roots. Um, this must have been a bigger one that was hungry that climbed up and had a delicious um, flower bud snack. And then, uh, and then before I went back down in the potting mix. So I'm gonna have to really clean this up well. Um, and, um, you know, and then wash it off really. So wa clean it off well means uh, trim off, um, you know, a lot of the roots that don't look good. Uh, I'll then take a, a hose to it on a pretty good uh, intensity uh, spray and I'll spray off really the whole plant really well. I mean, there's there can be slugs left up in there, um, or slugs, snails. These small snails may be up in there, um, but that's what you know. And, and now now that I know what I'm looking for, I'm gonna I'm gonna comb the plant and the flower a little bit more thoroughly to see if I can find anything um, buried in there. But these guys are they're small. They're small, um, you know, grayish, brownish snails they're they're even they're about the same size or smaller than the um than the slow release fertilizer that i use in there but has to be what's causing the problem so so i found it anyway it's it's um i knew something was there i was just expecting somewhat bigger but something bigger but you know this is this is this is what you do you kind of explore and you see what's going on and this is a uh, this is a new pest for me, again, this is from somebody else's uh, collection. I don't know how long they had it or how they treated it, uh, but I'm going to try to eliminate it. Now that I know what I'm looking for, I'll, you know, I'll be able to go to, if I see any kind of damage like this on the buds in the future, now I know, I know kind of what to, to see. So, and then the other thing is that the, the, uh, the snails, when I find them in the potting mix, here they're always on the bark. I think that's what they prefer to be on. They're not on. There's leca in here and there's lava stone in here, which is my preferred uh, potting mix for uh, cattleyas in this area. And I think that's what I'm going to use. I think it may prevent 
um, you know, the, the snails from, from colonizing the roots of this plant in, in the future. Anyway, what I'm going to do is, uh, yay, I kind of, I think I figured out what's going on. I'm going to cut everything off, pot this, pot this plant back up, and, uh, and, and move on from this. I, I, but I got to get rid of all this. I got to throw this in my, this is my throwaway. All this, all the potting mix is going to go in my throwaway bag. And again, now that I know ants too, now that I know what I'm looking for, um, I mean, I can, I can see them all in there and they, they move pretty, pretty, pretty quickly. Um, so that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, my video. Uh, if you like my video and you want to keep on seeing them, it would help me out if you can click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Okay, so just at the end here, I'm going to pot up this plant, put it in a, put it in a new pot, put it in a new, new mix, uh, clean it up, and I'll share with you what the, uh, what the plant looks like at the end. All right. Um, Again, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed it and happy propagating.